Chinese spy balloon. The Chinese spy balloon. The Chinese spy balloon. Second Chinese spy balloon. Chinese spy balloon. The Chinese spy balloon. They can be anywhere. They can be in the sky. They can be in your home watching you. Something needs to be done. Let's build it. Today, we're going to build a robot to pop Chinese spy balloons. We're going to use this laser we found online that everyone in the reviews agrees is dangerously more powerful than it claims. I mean, how bright can it be? Let's take it outside to try to pop some balloons. We'll point the laser at the balloon and... It works! The laser heats up the surface of the balloon until it pops. Let's try it again for good measure. Okay. All right, so it's possible. Possible is good enough for me. We'll quickly design it in CAD and start our 15 second build montage. We've been wanting to get into vision tracking for a while now and felt this would be a great project to learn it on. We wanted to use a Raspberry Pi but those are sold out everywhere. We stumbled upon the Husky lens, which seemed like a great introduction to vision tracking. It has built-in AI detection and can be paired with an Arduino. We just have to train it on what to track. Good job! Who's a good boy? Good job, Husko! Who's the most amazing Husko? Who's a good boy? Let's see how well we trained it. Whoa, it actually works. It's able to follow the balloon. I think it's ready. Let's fire up the laser and see how it does. Okay, well, that's a little disappointing. I think we're going to need a little more firepower. We can get a more powerful laser, or we could use something more destructive. Something invented in ancient China during the time of war. Something that requires careful handling or may result in explosions. You guessed it, chopsticks. We'll make a quick chopstick launcher. And test it out. And we need to sharpen it. That should be sharp enough. There we go. Let's see that again in slow motion. Look at how precise it tracked the balloon. Right in the center. Alright, one more time. This should definitely be able to protect us from those Chinese spy balloons if they decide to fly them two feet off the ground. What we need to do is strap our robot to a helium balloon so it can float up to the spy balloons and pop them. Wealth! 